Hey everyone, it's Mike and and Raven from Collymore Collection and Hobbies, and we're going to be playing Zombie Side the Second Edition, the tutorial mission. And we already rolled for our random characters already, the ones that we painted. So we got Odin and Pinky and Amy, Amando and Lily and Aaron. And the objectives for this match is, do you want to read them? Yeah. Uh, a fresh start, sort of. Take all objectives and pimp weapon crates, then reach the exit with all survivors. Any survivor may escape through this zone at the end of their turn, as long as there is no zombies in it. Okay, so the objectives are the red tokens, and the pimp weapons are the yellow. And everybody starts on the exit symbol there. And this one starts with these zombies on the table already. The fatty and the runner. A walker zombie and another walker zombie. So, we'll put everybody at the start here. And whoever has a fire axe, which is Pinky, goes first. So, I'll do my turn with my team here with these three guys Pinky, Odin, and Amy. And then Raven will do her team with Aaron, Lily, and Albondo. So first off, I'll use Pinky because he has a fire axe. And they can do three actions a turn. So Pinky will go one for one action. Two. And open the door. And when you open the door, if it's a dark zone, zombies spawn with the zombie cards in there. So what random zombies come there? So we got... Three zombies. One, two, three. So, why was it only three? Because it's the blue level. So when you get kill enough zombies, you get adrenaline, and it works up. So right now, we don't have any adrenaline built up, so you only spawn three zombies. So, that's a second action. And for his third action, he doesn't have a gun, he has a fire axe, so I think he's just going to stay right there. So then, next off will be Odin, or Amy. I think I'm going to do Amy. So Amy's going to take her pistol and shoot at that zombie. So she rolls one dice, and she hits on a three. So, yeah. What? So she misses, so she's done two actions, but she has one of her blue abilities is she gets a free move action, so she still has two other actions she can do. So she's going to try to shoot her pistol again. For her now second action. Gets on a four, so she kills him. So that zombie is dead. And every time you shoot a pistol or something that makes a noise, you want to put a noise token down in the spot that the noise was made. So she shot twice. So there's two noise tokens there. And she got a free move. She has one more thing she can do. She's going to try to shoot her pistol into the room of the zombies. Now, there's a rule that you can shoot into a dark room and you only hit on a six. It makes the game a little bit harder instead of just hitting normally. And we play on those rules too because we got a little bit of experience. So I'm going to try to shoot into that room and it hits on a six. Ah, five. So, that misses. But, even though I miss, I still get a noise. And that's Amy's go. I think he's gone. So now it's Odin. Odin is going to do one action to move here. His second action, he's going to try to go into the room. And for a third action, he's going to use his crowbar on these zombies. So, he gets one dice, and his blue ability, he gets plus one die in melee combat. So he actually gets to roll two dice for the crowbar. So, and he hits on a four. He rolled four and a five, so he kills two zombies. So, those two are dead. And every time he kill a zombie for adrenaline, it goes up two for the two that he killed. And then 
Amy also killed one with her gun, so she went up by one. And that's my turn for those guys. So now the other team's gonna go. So okay. I can control them. I'll control them. Okay. Me. Okay. So so who do you want to use first? Um, I've got Aaron, who has a uh, that's a a knife. Yeah, a like bar. Okay. Um. Yeah, Lily. Lily, who has a shotgun, and Amondo, who has a pistol. Mm -hmm. So, I think I'm going to do Lily first. Okay, so here's Lily. So, we'll go one one square forward. Yep. And then do another square into the room. Can she go in the room? Yeah. She has a rifle, too. Yeah. That's a rifle, okay. not a pistol, not a shotgun, sorry. Okay. Into the room, and then she's going to shoot her rifle at the zombie. Okay. Now, if you shoot in the room with the zombie, if you miss, there's a chance you might hit the other guy. So okay. that's bad, too. Cause you'd, and you're going to have to hit on a six, because you're in the same room. Uh, okay. 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 So. Okay. Well, we'll just try it. You're going to try it? Shoot it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, really rolls one dice. And she hits on a six. Ah, she rolled ah, a five. Okay. So she missed. So she actually hits Odin, who takes one damage. Okay. And she made a noise token in that room. Okay, so she has one more action now that she can do. And she moved one. Yeah. She moved two. And then she shot her rifle. Okay, so she's out. She's done. Okay. So now you have Aaron or Armando. Okay, so... I and didn't... Because Armando's on a bike, he actually gets to move two every time he moves. Okay. I didn't know that and about him. That's good to know. Okay, so... And you also have Aaron. Um, I am going to do Armando. Okay. Armando's going to come over here. So that's... One, two, because he gets to move two each turn. Yeah, and then he's going to shoot at that zombie. Okay, so his second action, he's going to shoot. So, we haven't done it yet, and we're, with these, there's also, in the, I think it's Fort Hendrix, you can go all L, and if you have that expansion, you can use those cards, and we have. So what that means is you roll one of the all out dice, the red ones, and if you roll a break, you actually break the weapon. So you get a chance to shoot more, but there's also a chance that you can break the weapon. So, hits on a three, and he hit. Just because you roll two hits doesn't mean you get to kill, double kill or anything, you just get that zombie and he's dead. So, so he gains one experience. Or adrenaline, they're called. Okay. And he made a noise though. So, so there's one more thing you can do. Okay. Um, and he does get, every time he moves, he gets that double move thing. So he can still go back and go one, two, or go one, two into the room. Um. Because we also have those runners there. Runners get to move two each activation, so they can go here. Right. Fatties only go one. And yeah. And walkers only go one. So he'll move one, two into the room then. One, two? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's also good that the adults protect some of the children characters, because the children only have two hit points, where the adults have three. So when you're playing with children characters, you got to be careful about their life. Right. Yep, that's important to keep in mind. Okay. And then you have Aaron left. So, you can, so do you think you can go into the room and maybe try to clean up and get the zombie? Yeah. Room? Yeah. I think that's what Aaron's going to do. So she's going to do... One move? Yep. Two move. Okay. And then you use her... Kabar? Yes. Okay. So to slice at that zombie. Do you want to try to go all out and roll an extra dice, or do you just want sure. to roll one dice? Sure. Yep. Okay. So you hit on freeze. Was it? Lucky we did the all out, <laughs> and you killed that zombie. So she so gains one adrenaline, and that room's clear now. So we don't got to worry about them attacking us. Right. So and now that everybody goes, now it's the zombies' turn to go, and they all activate first. So. First off, we'll do the runner. The runner moves two, and they move into the noisiest zone if they don't see anybody. So he doesn't have no line of sight of anyone, so the noisiest zone is right here. So he's going to go towards that zone. One, two. 
and then the fatty is going to go what to the same thing to the most noise right there once the zombies activate you got to spawn more zombies on the spawn points and you start off on the first one and you go clockwise so one two there so the first one the random zombies we go there extra activation so if there was any walkers on the table they would get to go again but there's none on there and it, we're also running blue adrenaline so it wouldn't have activated anyway so lucky no one starts there now we go to the next one what happens on that one one runner because we're in the blue so we'll take one runner that's the one you just painted right? one runner there and then that's it and we go to the next activation so then the other team gets to go first with the activation token right there that's me. and yeah and then you clear all the noise tokens off because they reset and now it's on your turn okay odin didn't pick up the the weapon did he no we still have the pimp weapon and the ejective okay so i'm gonna do you're, you're gonna, you have Aaron, Lily, and Amanda too. So yes, I'm gonna do Aaron first. Okay. Aaron's gonna go into the other room. Okay. And pick up the objective. Okay. So the objectives are worth five adrenaline points each. So you got that one, and you get five adrenaline. So you're at six now. So you one adrenaline point from yellow. Okay. So. And so you add every time you activate one of the objective tokens or the pimp weapons that's an action two so you've done two so far okay so, so she's gonna go back in the room with everybody else okay and, and then, then that'll be the end of her okay okay so Either next is lily or Armando. lily lily is going to pick up the pimp weapon okay so what activates it to do that and then you get the pimp weapon hopefully the mummy doesn't show up there we get you get an army sniper rifle cool. which is good for lily because she's actually really good with weapons okay and you have one more action you can do with lily she's gonna go out back out by amy okay and, that's and she's gonna you. stay there okay okay and then last is armando yeah Armando's gonna go one here yep now another thing you can do with your actions is you can trade with anyone that's in your zone for one action. So if you want to trade with Lily to take one of her weapons, that costs is action. And you get a free organize of your gear when you do that too. Okay. So No, I think he's okay right now. Okay. But is he gonna shoot at the runner? The runner? Yes. Okay. So he's gonna shoot. Is he gonna go all out with his pistol or just normal? Uh yeah, let's go all out. Okay. So hitting on threes. Lucky you did all out again because you rolled a five. Yep. So you got the runner. You got one adrenaline. And you made a noise token. So he moved out. He shot with his pistol. He says one more thing you can do. Okay. So. Hmm. He can trade. Another thing you can do is also make noise if you want to try to lure zombies away. You can spend an action to make a noise token, so you can try to separate zombies or lure them. Uh, he doesn't have anything that can open no. that door either. No. Right? Okay, so... Uh... Hmm, I'm not sure. Lily has a rifle and a sniper rifle now. Yeah. If you want to give them a little bit more range, you could trade with Lily and take her rifle. Yep. That's a good idea. Okay, so Amanda will take the rifle. Lily still has her sniper rifle. And that's it for your turn. Yep. So then it will go over to mine. And my team. So I. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? What? We can do it now too. Oh no, we did it for both rooms, right? Did we. When we open this. Did we spawn zombies in that zone too? No, we spawned them in this zone though, right? Yes. Okay, so I'll spawn them for that zone too. So, three zombies are supposed to be in that zone too. Because when you open the door... 
I but every room. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're connected, but there wasn't wasn't a door there. Yeah, even though there's not door, you have the same way when you open this one, you gotta spawn one there, and there. Yeah. Okay. So if that's the case. I will go with Odin, and he's gonna move into this for one, and then he's gonna roll his two dice to try to attack the zombies in here. Okay. And he's also going to go all out with a crowbar. So he hits on fours. And he killed two of them. So he killed two of them. Those zombies. He got two experience. There. And that's a silent weapon, so those don't make any noise. Lots of the melee weapons don't. So he has one more action he can do. Uh, he'll try just to roll it normally without going all out. Hopefully get in four. He did. There we go. So that fixed the problem of not spawning the nose zones. Yep. His turn's done. So now Pinky's gonna go. Or maybe so it's a free move action. Hmm. Another thing you can do, which I'm gonna do here, is on your action is he's gonna spend one to go here. You can also search the rooms too. So you would search for a weapon. So a second action is going to search for a weapon. He searches. And he found plenty of cells. So you get to re-roll anything that has shotgun cells on it. And he has one more action to do something. And you can only search once. So he can't search again. So he's going to come up here. And then Amy... The reason why I'm not moving to the fatty, because the fatty takes two damage. You have to have a weapon that does two, mm -hmm. and you can't do a weapon that does one damage and hit him twice. You have to have a weapon that does two damage, like the fire axe or the sniper rifle. So that's why I haven't been moving towards the fatty. So Amy's going to go into here for her free move action. She's going to search. She gets another pistol, so she can dual wield them. That's what the dual wield symbol means. So when she rolls, she would roll for both of them. Now, the next action, she's going to go here for two. And then, eh, just do it. So make noise for free. Now, haven't done Pinky yet. No, we have done Pinky. He's got those. So that goes to this team to go first next time. Now we activate the zombies. So, Fatty goes here towards the noise. Runner goes two. One, two, right there. That's it. So now we spawn zombies. So, first one here. So, no one's in yellow yet, so it's two runners. There. And that one right there. So this is spawn and activate. So these are rust cards. So still in the blue, you spawn a zombie, and then it gets to get a free activation. So it gets to move after it spawns. And that's the zombie turn. So now we do clean up. Take the noise tokens off. Now it goes back to my team's turn. So we got to deal with that fatty now. Hmm. What is there? Relax. Do you mind if I trade you the sniper rifle so then I can shoot at the fatty with Pinky? Go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to trade for one action to take the sniper rifle. And I'll give you the fire access in case you need to do it to open the door or whatever. Okay. So that's one action. My second action, I'm going to shoot into this zone. This has range of one to four, so I can't shoot into my own zone, but I can shoot here or four zones that I can see. Mm -hmm. So I two dice, and I hit on threes. So second action, I rolled one six. So, and when you shoot into a zone with a fatty, those are the first ones that you hit. You can't pick the runner unless you have sniper where you can pick which one you want to hit. Okay. So, but I want to take care of the fatty, so the fatty's gone. 
fatties also only give one adrenaline point too. So that's his second action. He traded, he shot, and Pinky has a move called hit and run. So what that means is after he, I believe it's after he hit someone, or after eliminating at least one zombie with a melee or ranged action, the survivor can make a free move action. So I can get to do a free move action if I really wanted to. So he shot, he's going to move back. And now he's going to shoot the sniper rifle again at the runner. Here on threes. He hit. So he takes care of the runner. And he makes a noise token over here. There's adrenaline. And then he's just going to move back. Okay. And then it's Amy's turn. Amy is going to move her free move there. Then she's going to shoot her dual pistols, now that she has two. So she gets two shots instead of one. Can he not freeze? So she got that. So, that's one zombie got. Noise token here. Experience. She has two more things she can do. She can't open the door, right? No, because she only has pistols. Uh, that's okay. Let's just make noise twice. This is done. So now it's Odin. Odin is going to go... Ah, uh, he's going to search the room for one. He got. I mean, how do you pronounce that? Q. Kukri. 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 I'm not but sure either. Machete. A fancy yeah, machete. I'm not trying to offend anybody. Just don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> so that's one for lurking, two, and three. And that's my team. So now it's your team. So. Okay. Lily. Uh, Lily can open the door, right? Yeah, with the fire axe. Okay, so Lily's gonna move to Amy. So that's one action. And she's gonna open the door. So that's two actions. And when you open the door, the fire axe is a noise weapon. Okay. So it makes noise when you open the door. Noise there. She has one more thing she can do, but we have to activate the rooms first. So this room, no one's in yellow yet. So, oh, one fat. So, okay. Fatty there. And then this room. Oh, lucky. Lucky we're not in the yellow, because then an abomination would come. So, no abomination is coming. And you have one more action now, now that we spawn into the room. Okay, she's going to go in the first room. Because okay. that fatty can't move yet, right? No. So, she's going to go into the first room and pick up the pimp weapon. Uh, you have no more actions yet. Ah, boo. Okay, yeah, she's done. Okay. Okay, so Armando's going to come. So, Armando gets to move. Two. Two. So, so one. In the room two. with Lily. Yeah. Okay. He's going to pick up the pimp weapon. So, his second action is picking that up. Yeah. So let's see what he gets. He gets a crazy katana. Another one that I'm not even going to try to pronounce. No. <laughs> okay. So you get a free organization of your inventory when you pick them up. So, because he has a rifle. Yeah, he doesn't need. No, he has that. So he's going to organize his. And that, does that one do... No, no it only, only does, does one. You do one. a lot of attacks, but only one damage. Okay. And then that one only does one, too, right? The yeah, rifle? the rifle. Okay. So, so you have one more action you can do. Um, you can stay in there to try to protect Lily when the fatty comes, because... Yeah. Because I can't... Uh, the fatties only do one damage. They're just a pain in the butt. Yeah. Yeah. So he's going to stay there. Okay. And then we go to Aaron. Okay. So what's Aaron going to do? Aaron is going to move 
towards Amy. Towards Amy? Oh, actually, she's going to search the room she's first. Okay. Let's so forget about it. searching the room. You got a katana. Awesome. Now, what cool with a kabar is you get to add one dice to another equipped melee weapon when you use it. So you get to add a dice now. Let's cool. Two. So she's going to go towards so Amy. Second action. Yeah, and then one more towards Amy. Third action. Yep. That's everybody on that team? Yeah. Okay. So now we go to the zombies. Zombies see this zone, so they're going to move there. Okay. These runners don't see anybody, but this is the noisiest zone. So they're going to go to one, two, right there. And that's it for everyone on the table for the zombies. So clean up here. That's it. You should just spawn them first. So spawning in number one. Four zombies. Some of the cards are, there's more than the other ones. So it's always luck. Sometimes you might get four, sometimes you get one. So four zombies. Let's get some new ones. We haven't done any of the special daily zombies, so let's do those. So I'll spend, get four. And usually sometimes I would just add one of the special zombies every time I spawn a mob of them. And each one of them has different rules. So let's do somebody that's the, look at that one. The duck one. So if you're in his zone, you can slip past it. So that's that. And then spawn for there. Uh-oh. Lucky we're not in the yellow. Because the fatties get extra activation cards too. Because if you're in the yellow... That fatty would have got to activate, and he would have tried to attack someone in that zone. But we're not in the yellow yet, luckily. So, we're not going to get attacked. And that's it. For the zombie spotted. There we go. Did you have any questions or anything? No? Okay. Now it goes over to the next team's turn. So now it's your turn to go first. Okay. So we just have to get that last objective, and then anybody can leave the exit whenever they'd want. But it's probably good to stay on the table a little bit when your team's there to help them out. Okay. Um, none of my guys have anything that can do two, right? Uh, the fire axe does two. So okay, Lily so can, Lily can do two. Yep, yeah, Lily can. Okay, so Lily's going to... Activate first? Yes, and okay. attack that zombie. Okay, so we don't really need the fire axe anymore because we opened all the doors. Do you want to try to go all out with it just to try to get... Sure. Okay, so you hit on fours. Lucky we did all out again. <laughs> yeah. Five. So, you get the fatty. You gain adrenaline. Okay, then she's going to move into here and get the objective. So that's your second action. And, and your she's third action, yep. you're going to pick it up. Okay. So, you get five experience, so you're just low yellow. And that's your turn. Okay. okay. Now, knowing that, well, no, Amanda's going to stay... Amanda's going to stay there. Uh, because he doesn't want to leave. If Amando comes out, though, he can maybe shoot his rifle at those two runners that might come out. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, he didn't want to leave her alone. That? Yeah. Yeah, okay. we'll do that. Okay, so... He doesn't there. have to move two. So he'll move one there. Yep. For his first action. Then a second action, do you want to shoot the rifle at him? Yes. Okay. So it's one shot normally. Do you want to try to go all out with it? Yeah. Okay, so you hit on threes. Two threes. Perfect. So you get those two runners. You make a noise. And you get two experience. Adrenaline. So you used to say an experience with stuff. Perfect. Okay, um, and keep the track. You oh, shot. You got one more move. He's gonna move towards the exit. So your two, one, two. Yep. Okay. And at the end of your turn, you can decide to leave. Are you gonna leave? Yes. Okay. So he's off the table. He's safe. Okay. Now, and then I have Aaron. Yep. Is Aaron gonna start walking back to the exit or? Yeah. What do you say? 
Yep. Okay, so she's gonna go one here. Yep. Two. Yep. Exit. Yep. Okay. So you only have Lily on there. She said, "Poor guys, little Lily." What? She's all by herself. You leaving a kid by herself? <laughs> Poor little Lily. Okay. Well, what's cool with the kids is they have a move called Slippery that they can slip past zombies, so they're easier to escape. That's why they only have two hit points. Yeah. So, I'll go on to my team then. Uh, Pinky's just going to go one here and wait so he can protect Lily coming because he has a sniper rifle or if anything comes down the street here. So he's going to finish his turn there. And then Odin is going to go off, and he's going to escape too. And Amy's going to stay there too, just in case. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So, now to the zombie's turn. Walker's only move one. There. And walkers can't open doors unless there's special rules, so we don't got to worry about them trying to get through that door. Mm-hmm. And then that's it. So now spawning. So at number one, no one's in yellow, right? Nope. So free zombie spawn, and they activate. So yeah, let's get the ballerina for one. And then two more, and they get to activate. So here, we got the ballerina. What the ballerina does if she's ah, a zone away, I believe she gets to jump at the other characters too. And then the other one. Oh, see these are ones that are even more. Six zombies now. Lucky it's not the yellow. Spawn and activate. So that's why sometimes it's not good to wait too much because then you just get overrun by zombies. Six there. And then activate here and here. Okay, that's the zombie turn. So now let's clean up. Okay, pick that up. There we go. So you went last time, so I'll go. So I got Pinky. So what Pinky's gonna actually, Amy is a free move, so. Yeah, so shooter pistols, just to clear out some of those. And she'll go all out. So, because she's dual wielding, you get to do the all out for both pistols. So she rolls two dice normally, and then two more for all out. See if she can take out these zombies. And she hits out on a three with all of them. So, she killed four of them. One, two, three, four. She got two. One, two, three, four. So she's at six adrenaline. Noise, and then her free action. She's gonna do that for her free move, and then one more. She's gonna go there, and she's gonna escape. Pinky is gonna shoot a sniper rifle at those, and he's gonna go all out too. And he got those too. So those two are gone. And he got two adrenaline. And because of his hit and run, he can move again if he wants. So he can actually go here. Or he can go here. So he's going to go there. And his last move, he's going to go here. So we did actually leave Lily all by herself. <laughs> okay. So now it's Lily's turn. It's running time. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, you're going to move? Yep. One, two, three. Yep. So he still wants on away. Yep. She comes out and everybody's gone. Yep. Okay. So, but you do get to go next first next turn. So now it's the zombies' turn. They're all gonna come up. To here. Then spawn up number one. No one's in the yellow. And even if the other team was in the yellow and they're off the board, you would still activate the yellow one, even though they're off the board. So that's something to stick with too. So, but no one's in the yellow. So two fatty spawn. 
So, yeah, just to put them on the tip of the show. You have the sumo. And the other guy. So, that's a sumo. I forget, he, I think you can't move past him. I'd have to check the rules again for it. When they, if we actually do have to fight them, I'll look it up. And then for the other spawn. One runner. So, actually, because they're not going to catch us, let's get one of the other daily zombies who's finished. I remember this guy's rules, the Olympic runner. He gets a free activation when he starts. So, he would come down, and you get a free activation. One, two. Now it's their turn's done for spawning, so now we would go to you. Lily runs. She doesn't want to run back with the axe and try to fight the... No. <laughs> no, not trying to be a hero today. Okay, so then she'd go here. Yeah. And... Oop, what? Pop. Exit. So, that's the first tutorial mission. It's pretty straightforward. It just teaches you all the mechanics of picking stuff up going. The second one, the map's a lot bigger. It's a lot harder. Two. So. Smile. Is it? Good? Yeah. <laughs> okay.